Hi everyone, I'm Stars and Dust and I'm coming to you from the CrystalChalice.com website. I will be presenting some tips and tricks periodically and I am hoping that this endeavor helps other web developers and designers escape some of the pitfalls in creating a website. The applications that I will be focusing on from week to week will be Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Microsoft Word and a few other applications from time to time. Today though, I will start off with a Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I will be using the pen tool to remove a background from our main object on the canvas. The pen tool can be rather confusing for beginners, but once you get onto the process of clicking along the straighter lines of the object and click dragging along the curves, it can be quite a useful little tool to have. I especially like it for the way that it gives us to accomplish this job. So, if everyone is ready, I guess I will start this little tutorial. First off, you will need to have Photoshop open like I do here, and of course an image that you want to remove the background from. Next, grab the Zoom tool, click on the canvas, and then pull downward to enlarge the object. You can use the space bar to move around on the canvas, like this. Next, grab the pen tool. Go to the top menu. Make sure you're in Pass. Make sure you do have the pen tool and not the freeform pen tool, but the pen tool. And then sh just start clicking around the glass. Move around using the space bar and continue clicking around the object edge. If you want to follow a curve, you click and drag downward. Click, drag downward. So a straight edge is just a click, but a curve would be a click and a drag downward. Then just keep on following around the glass and don't worry about getting the anchor points just perfect at this point. I'm going to show you a little trick that will clearly realign the anchor points where you want them. So just keep on going around the edges like this. Remember to click and drag when you're on a curve. and just click on the straightaways. Use the space bar to move around on the canvas. When you get to the end, you're going to see a round circle just like this. So just connect the two dots, and there the path is closed. Now, in order to move these anchor points around, you're going to grab the direct selection tool, this white little arrow right here. Then click on the path. Now you can see your anchor points, and you just move them around where you want them. Make sure you clicking on the square because the square is what's going to move the whole path. Now if you want to realign the curve then you move these little anchor points here and then it will move the curve around. 
just go around the glass or the object that you've chosen and move the anchor points where you want them. You can also add and subtract anchor points by going to the pen tool and using these tools here. The, to add an anchor point is the plus tool and to subtract one is right here. So we can add one right by using this tool right here. So I'll show you how to do that. Click directly on the path where you see that plus sign show up. And there you go. But in order to move it around, remember, you need to come to this direct selection tool. So go back to the direct selection tool. And then we can move this point around where we want it. And I think everything looks pretty good. So when you get everything looking the way you want it, right click and choose Make Selection. Okay, and there's your selection. And then go to the Layers panel. Double click on this layer to unlock it. And then go to the bottom here we're going to apply a layer mask. And now our little glass is all cut out. So if you want to apply a different background you can. Go to the move tool and move this up and move it down and of course it comes in front but we can move it to the back in the layers panel so just move that underneath move the background where you want it and there you go your glass is in a, a different background and we also have a marble background or a white satin background or just about anything you'd like to put it in so there's your little tutorial on removing the background with pen tool. I hope you liked it. Thank you.